solve the differential equation v squared dx plus x times the quantity x plus v dv equals zero. So solve equations like this, what we do is we introduce another variable and substitute it to the original equation, which will lead us to a new equation that is a parabola. And then we can solve that by separation of variables. Okay, so for example, we let x equals u times v and our dx is u dv plus v du. Okay, or we can also do v equals u times x and dv is u times dx plus x times d. The problem with this is you will have a complicated multiplication because if we substitute this dv here, we will have to multiply that with this compared to if we substitute this dx here, we only need to multiply that with v squared. Okay, so we will use x equals uv. So we substitute this here. So the first term becomes v squared times u dv plus v du. Plus we substitute x here. And here we get uv times uv plus v dv equals zero. Okay. Then we multiply v square here. We get u v square dv. We multiply it here. We get v cube du then we multiply this so uv and dv we get plus u square v square dv and multiply this here and here we get plus uv square dv equals zero then we collect like terms. These are like terms. We add that we get 2uv square dv. And then we copy this. Another dv term. We have u square v square dv. Plus the last one we have v cube du equals 0. Okay, so for the first two terms, we have a common factor of u v squared dv. So what's left in the first term will be 2. The second term will be u. Thus, we copy this one. Equal zero. So we now have an equation that is separable. So by separation of variables, we will multiply this equation by 1 over v cube over u over 2 plus u. Okay. So first term, we are left with just dv over v. Second term, we will have du v cube will be cancelled out we only have du over u times 2 plus u equals 0 so we integrate to solve the differential equation the first term is just ln of v but the second term we need to do something about this one what we do is we decompose this fraction into partial fractions okay one with denominator u the other one will have a denominator of two plus u 
So we do not know the numerator of the first term. We can just call it A. We also do not know the numerator here. We'll call it B. Next is to multiply this equation by U times 2 plus U. The left side will now be just 1 equals the first term will be A times 2 plus U. The second term will be B times U. Then we will assign values for U so that one of these unknowns will be eliminated. Like for example, if we let u equals 0, the last term here will be 0 so that we only have 1 equals a times 2 which gives us the value of a equals 1 half. And then if we want to eliminate this, we just assign u to be equal to negative 2. So the sum here will be 0 multiplied by a will be 0. We only have 1 equals b times negative 2. That gives us b equals negative 1 half. So meaning 1 over u is 1 half over u minus 1 half over 2 plus so this equation now becomes dv over v plus one half of u minus one half of two plus u times du equals zero. So we can now integrate that. So let's copy that first, put it here. So if we integrate this one, first term will be ln of v. The next term will be du over u or one half of the ln of u minus one half of the ln of 2 plus u equals c or ln of c so it will be uniform no? and we will multiply the whole equation by 2 we get to ln b plus ln u minus ln of 2 plus u equals 2 ln c properties of logarithm this will be ln of v square plus ln of u minus ln of 2 plus u equals ln of c square or just ln of c. Again, by properties of logarithm, this is uv square over 2 plus u equals ln of c. And then we get the exponential of both sides of the equation. We get e to the ln of u v square over 2 plus u is e to the ln c. We have u v square over 2 plus u is c or uv square is c times 2 plus u. So this is not the answer yet because this is these are not the original variables in the given equation. So the original variables are v and x. This is u and v. So we substitute u function of x, up, x and v. So Go back here, x is uv from x equals uv, we get our u to be x over v. Substitute this, 
here and here, we get x over v times v squared is c times 2 plus x over v. For the meantime, let's just copy this. On the right side of the equation, we get the common denominator of v so that the first term becomes 2v plus x. So we multiply the whole equation by v. We arrive at our final answer, xv squared equals c times 2v plus x.